In this video, we're going to create this login and sign up UI designs from scratch using Figma. Now, this is a part of a series of videos in which we're creating the app. So if you haven't checked out the previous videos, I would highly recommend you to do so. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, so we're back in Figma and now we're going to essentially duplicate this very screen right here over the right which we built in one of the previous videos and we're going to create the login sequence here and what we're going to do as the very first thing is we're going to get rid of this element right here we're going to bring this rectangle and we're going to delete all of the other elements and we're going to write over here um, login and uh, we're going to make this text uh, just a little bit smaller. Don't want it to take as much visual emphasis as, the, as it is now. And uh, we're going to essentially have uh, some call to action buttons. And uh, let's just frame this. So the very first one uh, is going to be um, simple login. Or actually, you know what? We're, got, we're actually going to create different buttons for this. So we're going to have a unique button for the logins. So maybe something around uh, these lines is going to work well. Let's make it white for the time being. Let's round it up just a little bit. We're going to duplicate this text, uh, bring it all the way up. Let's make it darker. And we're going to write here login with Google. Let's use the auto width. And we're going to bring it right here. Now, what we're going to do right after this uh, is we're going to go into Nucleo icons and uh, write uh, Google. And we're going to find uh, this uh, Google icon right here. You can also find it on the web. Um, simply look on Google for Google icon and uh, you're going to find uh, plenty of them. Now the great thing about this is that it's in SVG format so it's really easy to basically uh, modify. So that's uh, uh, a good practice to uh, keep indeed. Now we have this uh, login with Google and uh, now at this point actually let's not delete that one just just yet and uh, we're going to group this together and uh, probably let's try and round it up all the way and yeah, this looks pretty nice especially considering that we want to maintain a visual consistency with this button element right here all right so this is going to be the first button we're going to have the second button it's going to be login with email. And again, let's use nuclear icons in order to find uh, a icon for the email. And you're going to go with uh, this one right here. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. Um, temporarily have a RAM issue, so I have like all of these things. Usually, you're not going to to see them. Um, it's just a temporary thing. It's just a visual thing, really. So just keep this in mind. And uh, yeah, let's bring this uh, icon all the way right here. Probably one thing that we can consider is just bringing these uh, all the way to the center and just having the icons on the left. Um, I'm not really too fond of this. I think the, the button is a little bit too big, so we're just going to squeeze it a little bit. And I think this is already looking better. All right, so we have, uh, oops, let's bring the icon inside of the button. We have our main 
call to actions here. So let's write over here. some uh, descriptive text so that uh, the user is going to be aware of uh, the context. Let's make this one bold. And uh, what we're going to do, well, first of all, let's bring also this one over here. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a hybrid of uh, two, um, basically two screens in one. I'm actually thinking if it's more beneficial to actually just divide them up and have them here and divide them up into screens. Yeah, probably that's that's what we're gonna do. Let's uh, make this screen a little bit smaller. And uh, just before we move on to the very next screen, uh, I'm going to find an image for the screen right here. So let's go under Unsplash and uh, again, you can download Unsplash plugins uh, directly from uh, the Figma library, as I showed you in the previous video. Let's write something like trading or crypto. Mm. And this is interesting, but probably want something more around these lines. Mm. This looks pretty nice in given our context. So probably let's just keep this one right here. I'm going to have another one which is going to be for the sign up. like the same image from before. So at this point we're just uh, having a look around uh, for images that could look good in this given our context. <laughs> Maybe this one is could be interesting. I want something darker for whatever reason I think it works better with the layout but also not dark um, with no purple or blue tints. I actually want both. Let's hmm. write crypto. Yes, let's add the, uh, um, let's keep this one. I think it's cool. You're signing up for something where there's an opportunity to make uh, uh, some crypto. So I think it makes sense in the context. All right. We're going to create uh, some input fields right here. Or actually, we already created the components. So why not leverage them? Let's bring it right here. Let's make it smaller. Let's duplicate a few times. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Give it more 
vertical space. I'm going to duplicate the repeat email. So there's also this option right here, which is the reason you want to join. Let's give it just a little bit more, more space. All right, so let's grab this button. And let's also grab this element which we have uh, created previously. And let's shorten it up. And I think uh, we're good to go. Right, an application here, and uh, yeah, we're pretty much uh, sorted out uh, at this point. And uh, in the very next video, we're going to create uh, the main activity feed for this app.